lovies hope you guys are having an awesome day today so I don't know if you guys are like me but I love drugstore mascaras I've tried various high-end mascaras but with the exception of one um, I can't ever seem to find a really good mascara that is high-end so today I thought I would share with you guys some of my favorite drugstore mascaras. All the mascaras that I'm going to show you today, like I mentioned, are from the drugstore except for one of them. And they are mascaras that I have repurchased, which means that, you know, I really like them and they have really good results. The mascara that I'll start with is one that I have be probably repurchased the most. And it's the CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume. So, here's that one. And this is what the brush looks like. One thing that I don't like about this mascara though is that I feel like it dries out very quickly. Like most of my mascaras will, you know, last for a pretty long time. But this one I feel like when you use it, I don't know, like within a month. And I don't even put makeup on every day. So maybe within a month or so, um, the formula starts to dry out, which I don't like. But here's what the applicator looks like. And it is one of those, um, I guess, kind of rubber applicators, not your traditional applicator. It's rubber and it just has little spikes on it and the end is flat. But it just gives a really um, full, nice, natural result. And I really like it. Like I said, I've repurchased this one, I don't know, maybe three, four times. It's, it's really good. I'll keep repurchasing it because I really like this one. The next one that I really like is the Revlon Grow Luscious Mascara by Fabulash. And here it is. So this one is more of a kind of old school traditional applicator. It has a very large brush. Um, it's, you know, wider throughout the brush and then it gets tapered at the ends. And this one is really good if you want like a natural full lash, but one thing I don't like about this one is the fact that whenever I put this one on, it always, always tends to get on my eyelids as well. Like most mascaras I can put on and it won't really get on my eyelids when I do it. But for this one for some reason, I guess because the brush is so big, whenever I put my mascara on, it always gets on my this eyes. One I generally use on my lower lashes as you can see because it has a very tiny applicator and this is the Maybelline Lash Discovery mini brush and so before this I was using the Clinique bottom lash mascara which is still an awesome mascara but um, you know sometimes you just want to be able to go to the drugstore and I use on my bottom lashes it does a really good job of just getting those little lashes at the bottom and I, I would repurchase this one this is the first time I've used this one but I would definitely repurchase it if I didn't get the Clinique uh, bottom lash mascara the next mascara that I really really love is the Maybelline illegal length fiber extensions so this one as you can see, has a skinny applicator. But what this does is it just puts, like it says, fiber extension. What I'll do with this one is I'll put this over um, another mascara. So I should also mention that with all these mascaras, I will put on about two coats and then, you know, if I want more of a dramatic look, I will put the Illegal Lash over that as well. And just to kind of like extend the tips and like I said, just give it a more of a dramatic look. Before this one, I was using another lash, a uh, fiber lash extension mascara, which I used to purchase from Sephora. Um, and it was great, it had awesome results, but I just wanted to try something new. And so I really like this one actually even more than I like the higher end one. So I'll definitely continue to repurchase this one as well. Next one that I have for you is Revlon Photo Ready 3D Volume. So here it is. And this is what the brush looks like. So like the CoverGirl, this is also a rubber brush, but this one to me, honestly, is a dupe for the Benefit They're Real, which I've heard so many people rave about it, but honestly, I really don't like that one. For me, I guess I have longer eyelashes, so for my lashes, the Benefit They're Real tends to just make my eyelashes look very, um, I don't know, like very spider-like, like it just kind of 
makes them look really skinny. I really don't like the results that the Benefit Stereo gives me. But this one, like I said, is a dupe for it, but better because what makes it a dupe to me is the fact that it has this little, you can see, the tip of it is like the Benefit They're Real, where it has kind of like the little round spiky bristles at the end so that you can kind of get those little tiny corners or get the bottom lash, the bottom lashes. So this one's really good. This would be another one that I would probably use over another mascara. Another one that I have is the Telescopic Explosion Mascara by L'Oreal. So here's what this one looks like. And this is definitely not your traditional mascara wand. But this one I will use um, kind of like the extension mascaras where I'll just use it to put like an additional dramatic coat onto it just to get the tips you know looking really nice just to get those little corners to get the bottom lashes if I want to so this is this is really good and another one I think no not my last one but another one that's an OD but a goodie is the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black so here this is. I haven't opened this one yet. I've had it for a while, but I'm waiting till I use up some of my other mascaras before I open it. And this one is good. The applicator is similar to the Revlon Grow Luscious, but it's just not as big, but it's just like a traditional mascara wand. I should also mention that for all of my mascaras, I always get the darkest black color that they have just because I think when you have um, like a carbon black like this one, a really dark color mascara it just makes your eyes pop even more and it just makes your eyelashes look if you guys keep up with my channel you'll notice that I, I keep my makeup pretty simple the most I'll usually do is change up my blush or my lipstick or lip gloss um, but I keep it pretty neutral on the eyes but at the same time even though I keep it neutral on the eyes I like the focus to be on the eyes which I'll do just by you know making sure um, I use a really good mascara that just kind of makes my eyes pop and I think that's it if you guys have any questions let me know leave it in the comment box below I will link all of these mascaras for you guys down below as well where you can find all of them thumbs up if you like this video hopefully you did um, Subscribe to my channel so that I can continue to give you awesome videos on everything that I love and everything that I hope you love as well. Follow me on Instagram, all my loves too. And see you guys next time. Bye bye.